Let's uh, turn our attention back to Kenya and checking in on how the overall market uh, performed for the day. Big uh, bounce there up by eight tenths of percent, 4,561 points. Foreigners are buying in the market uh, today and that of course helping lift some blue chips. Uh, looking at how the currency is faring on the day, 87.55 uh, against the greenback. You're looking at the shilling stable but a noticeable uh, depreciation from the start of the year. So let's cross over to Nairobi and get an update on what's uh, driving the market as it stands. Crispus Otiena, XTs dealer at AIB Capital, is standing by. Crispus, thanks for your time. I mentioned foreigners are back in the market or, or a bit more aggressive in the market today. Uh, talk to us about the kind of the ratio between foreign uh, buying uh, and local buying. Uh, really, uh, the foreigners, I, I, I think I'm glad to say the foreigners are back to the market we are seeing. Today we saw uh, for foreigners accounting for well over 60% of the total market turnover. That, that, that is a vote of confidence ahead of the general elections to be held on March 4th. Let's talk about uh, some of the interesting movements on the day because uh, Barclays Bank, uh, which Barclays Bank of Kenya, BBK as it's known, uh, the fourth highest mover today and uh, the assets are of Barclays Bank moving to be owned by Barclays Africa, which of course is owned by APSA. There's some controversy th uh, around that deal uh, from the shareholder perspective of APSA. Uh, but what are your thoughts right now on all the Barclays Group moving to be, uh, to be managed by the APSA Group here in South Africa rather? Uh, as you've seen, Absa Group is a, as a, as a, as a rich heritage, and so is, the, is, is all the Barclays, uh, all the Barclays uh, banks in, in Africa. So I think going forward, uh, they will be able to benefit immensely from the, from the, from the expertise provided by, uh, by Absa Group. Mm -hmm. And then I think in terms of organization, we are, we are going to have a more uh, a, a, a management structure that is actually much nearer to the customers. Because I believe Africa, I mean, South Africa is much nearer to Kenya than, than the UK. Yeah. So, of course, that, that switch around, we know that uh, APSA uh, would, uh, you know, intend to grow its business on the continent and, and compete with the largest standard bank, who has, uh, is the biggest bank on the African continent. Um, but BBK has, has kind of traditionally been more prudent in its lending, uh, being more of a corporate uh, bank in, in Kenya. Of course, it does have that retail element. Do you think that that uh, strategy is likely to change? Uh, we saw in the in the in the last in the in the later part of the last decade, we saw Barclays trying to move on to the mass market. I mean, uh, trying to follow into the footsteps of Equity Bank. But I don't know whether it became a success or not. I'm not so sure. But uh, what it, I know that what it resulted was a high level of uh, of, uh, of 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 default and bad debts. So even if that go down that route again, it will be they have to move very cautiously. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to Safaricom. Yet another innovation coming through uh, from them. They're allowing M-Pesa users to shop online. And that, of course, interesting also partnering up with a South African firm known as a Paygate. Uh, give us some color to, to this deal. Tell us about how it's meant to work and uh, what type of opportunities uh, will it present firstly to, to Safaricom in terms of revenue generation? Uh, uh, normally, what I've seen in the, dev in, the, in, the, in, the, in the frontier markets is that plastic cards are not so, uh, plus the uptake of cards is not so, is, is not so high. So again, that, that, that also limits the use of, uh, of internet uh, payment solutions. But this thing, I mean, the partnership that Safaricom has, that's beautiful because the client does not need to have a card, a Visa or a MasterCard for that matter. Mm -hmm. All the client needs is an m account. That will definitely revolutionise internet. Uh, tra I mean, internet-based transactions, because I believe it will work. It will work like the client just keys in the, his details, and the money is debited or credited in whichever manner. That makes it simple and in a language that people can understand. So, uh, and, the, and then the uptake of, of mo uh, the mobile phone penetration, as opposed to card-based transaction penetration, is much higher in Kenya than is is much, much, much higher. So, of course, we expect to see stronger volumes uh, going forward. But what about issues around logistics and distribution uh, of, of the goods that they purchase online? I mean, that should, uh, I mean, I'm sure they've thought about this, but uh, surely uh, that should be a concern given the fact that uh, distribution networks are, of course, a little bit harder in, in places like Kenya. Unfortunately, in Kenya, infrastructure, IT has moved faster than, IT has moved faster than infrastructure growth. Uh, at times, I only wish you could transport things over. Uh, we, uh, we could transport goods over the net too, 
Of course, again, as we go forward, that will be a challenge because uh, if, if you look at, uh, at, at infrastructure development, our roads and rail network, uh, it's, not, it's not up to par. I mean, it's not that up to scratch. So, of course, delivery is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Ati River Mining. We spoke about it uh, early on in the show this week, but uh, yet uh, one of the uh, top gainers on, on the uh, market once again today, and uh, it's up by you know seven, up to 7.96. Uh, your thoughts on on Ati River Mining and where the stock's headed right now, because it really seems to be one of those momentum players. Uh, for us, uh, for Ati River Mining, if you look at the trade, it accounted for over well over 70 percent of the of the of the total turnover today. So, but then again, if you if you look at the at their share at the amount of free flow that it has, it's not so much so as to so as to see so as to really really move the market to, to those levels. So I think that I don't expect the price to move that much uh, because uh, I don't believe those uh, that uh, that turnover was influenced by fundamentals. Mm -hmm. So 61 shillings, you think you'll see selling from there on out? Uh, really, I could uh, 70s. My is where is is where I'd put my money on. 